Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Reese's Moment in History, and I'm here at the beautiful Women's Benefit Association Building, downtown Port Huron. Albina West was a compassionate 25-year-old school teacher from KPAC, Michigan, and in her role as an educator, Bina often observed the financial difficulty a family would endure if a wife or a mother with young children died. As a state organizer for the Ladies of the Maccabees, Bina West knew the power of an organized group. She had built her group's membership from 319 in 1892 to 5,770 in 1894. Within three years, nearly 10,000 members had enrolled. The Ladies of the Maccabee changed its name in 1892 to the Women's Benefit Association, having 7,224 members in 42 states by the year of 1900, having issued her first certificate of insurance on November 4, 1892. With the success of the Women's Benefit Association led the Maccabees to erect their first national office here in Port Huron, which I'm currently standing in today. Richard E. Schmidt of Chicago firm Garden and Martin designed the structure out of Indiana limestone with Corinthian columns which flattened its entrance. In October 22, 1915, Port Huron Mayor I.E. Miller declared a public holiday upon the placement of the building's cornerstone. Nearly four years later, it had nearly 150,000 members and 40 employers at its Port Huron headquarters. The Women's Benefit Association is one of the first organizations of its kind to offer life insurance to women and still provides insurance as well as opportunities for personal growth by joining others in a worthwhile effort to benefit themselves, their families, and their communities. The Women's Benefit Association is now known as Women's Life. For Moment in History Extra, hey, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.